Some thanks are in order, apparently. How are you all doing today and welcome to this brand new video. So today I have a few things to talk about and one of them is just you know showing you some new stuff to a collection that came in the mail finally and another is a big thank you. But for now let's show you the things that came in the collection. Now the first one I really have to show you is Doctor Who Destiny of the Doctor Smoke and mirrors. So this CD right here is from the Destiny of the Doctors range. Um, this was the 50th anniversary celebration for Classic Doctors, as well as the Light at the End CD, but this is their separate adventures with the companions coming in with some voice actors from Doctors. And what can I say, I've listened to a patch of chart one that my friend sent me. Um, thank you very much, I love it. Uh, her name is Eve, by the way, so that's a little mention for you. But this is the Peter Davison one, and I'm really looking forward to what this one has to say, as it has the voice actor of Tegan. That is not it. I have some more things I have to show you. So the next thing I have to show you today is Destiny of the Doctor, Death in Paradise. Now this is the sixth Doctor's version for Destiny of the Doctor, and this has Connor Baker's companion, Nicole Bryant, who plays Perry. And in my opinion, a very underrated companion, as she has two big personality traits. Out of all seriousness, my opinion she was a really caring companion and her and Colin actually needs each other as a doctor and companion and we had a really nice chemistry so I really like the sick of Doctor and Perry. Let's have a closer look at these CDs. Now these are the two Destiny of the Doctor CDs. As you can tell we have the classic Doctor Who logo at the very top of the BBC. It says Destiny of the Doctor for both of them with a picture of Nicole Bryant as Perry and Colin Baker's sixth Doctor, a very underrated Doctor in my opinion and one I personally love. And the next one has Tegan and the fifth Doctor played by Peter Davison, as well as Trouble in Paradise with Smoke and Mirrors, with the 50th anniversary logo of the TARDIS at the very side. Smoke and Mirrors is by Steve Linz, sorry about that guys, awful pronunciation for names, and Trouble in Paradise is by Nev Fountain, and it's performed by Nicole Bryant and Cameron Stewart, as well as Destiny of the Doctor with Janet Fielding and Tim Beckerman. If you're curious, this is what it looks on from the side. It has Destiny of the Doctor on the side with Classic Who logo at the very top with Smoke and Mirrors and Trouble in Paradise. Now, if you're curious what the plot summary is to these audio adventures, then pause this segment of the video and you can find out right now. So they are the CDs, so the next and last item I need to show you has to be Doctor Who Breakfast at Tiffany's Part 2. This is the Titan Comics release for the 10th Doctor range of Doctor Who comics and if you have no idea that Doctor Who comics are a thing, they are a thing guys and what can I say, they are fantastic as currently in my first Breakfast at Tiffany's Part a massive plot twist happened at the very end of that um, episode, well, comic episode, and I'm not going to spoil it, but it will blow your mind, so I cannot recommend the 10th Doctor comics anymore. While on the subject of Doctor Who comics, I'd just like to mention that my boss slash mate is a comic book owner, and that's where I get a majority of this from, he's called Pepe, I've mentioned him in a few videos, so there's a shout out for you, but basically, um, I'm a massive fan of them, and as well as the 10th Doctor ones, I'm collecting the 3rd Doctor ones, and a massive storyline is happening in that right now. And I'm going to spoil it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you've been warned. The Salamander from Enemy of the World has returned, so after he got pushed out of Time Vortex at the very end of Enemy of the World, he returned with John Purvis' Doctor, searching him up until he found him. So it was basically Unit, the Master, and the Doctor fighting the Salamander as it tries to create his own time machine. 
What a story, guys, and it's absolutely epic, and I'm probably going to try and do a review now when that second part of that story comes out, so wait for that. But I really hope you enjoyed the new merchandise in my collection. So the question for you is right now for this segment, it is, have you got any new merchandise for your collection, or have you got legitly everything? Comment below in the, in the comment section, and tell me as I'm very interested in hearing. What I want to talk about now is just a massive, massive thank you because recently I've hit 250 subscribers and that is absolutely crazy for me because 250 is weird. Back in the day when I first started doing videos, it wasn't really Doctor Who orientated. Even though I did a few Doctor Who videos, it wasn't massively on that area. I remember doing a River Song is Returning video um, and that video, God, the music was so loud, it, it wasn't that good, I don't think it was anyway, but it was basically about, you know, River returning in my husband's River song, which she quite surprised me, to be honest. But, a lot has changed since then, because I had probably 65, 60 subscribers, now I've got 250, and it blows my mind that people actually want to hear me talk about Doctor Who and hear other people on this channel talk about Doctor Who, because I just... Never thought people would really care. I also just want to say thank you to all of you people that watch these videos, subscribe if you're new, if you've been on since the very start. Because I'm always putting on new videos whenever I can, if it's about merchandise, if it's about a discussion. And I've even planned something for the 300, you know, subscriber special. So, <laughs> you'll like that when I reach 300. A massive thanks, guys. I absolutely love what you do. I love when you comment. I love when you like. Even when you just view video, it's just magnificent because honestly guys, you make me happy what I'm doing right now and I just love the fact that people want to watch what I'm talking about because I just want to talk Doctor Who and that is the reason I created this channel. And to know people want to talk it with me and I have these discussions with all you amazing Whovians and just people in general in the comments about all these little things, it makes me happy. So thank you so much, you're all fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.